All right, guys, well, welcome back to some more Portal 2 Community Chambers. And uh, we start off tonight um, carrying on with uh, the map we were playing last time around, which is Just Enough Cues by Oxy. And um, remember, we sort of like left off in a bit of a weird position whereby we done uh, parts one and two. I think we've done dots one and two, haven't we? That's right. And we was left at like this position here, whereby we was kind of trying to decide whether or not putting a cube on here and uh, jumping over here was the right move to do. Crazy with the three months resub. Hi, my friend. How you doing? Thank you very much. Appreciate the support. Hope you are doing well. Um. But yeah, I had. I am playing on Windows 11. I am indeed. I am indeed. Um, so yeah, I had um, an independent adjudicator check something for me on um, uh, the walkthrough, and they said that that is not the intended solution. So I think we need to kind of walk around a little bit more and try and work out what it is exactly we need to do here. But. Um, I'm pretty sure if I put a pull here, this shuts, right? Yeah. All right. So we need to keep that in mind. But um, obviously, we have two cubes to play with here. So with that in mind, we could potentially take the cubes through here like this. And think about what we're going to do here. Refamiliarize ourselves with this. So that looks like it comes all the way over here. It's controlled by this. Okay. So we could set the laser through here. However, the problem is. When we do that, the portal moves. Uh, the, sorry, the the panel moves, so we don't actually get the portal through. Uh, sorry, the laser through the portal in here anymore. So that's a problem. So what I wonder instead is, and we played around with this idea last time, is there a way I can get the laser coming through or a laser coming through? the over here because if I could get a laser that wasn't dependent on that portal surface there then I might be able to bootstrap it now excuse me didn't we have something over here previously? Whereby, yes. Okay, so we have this. And we could potentially take this out of here. If we send one of these cubes into here. Yo, Asias, how's it going, buddy? I'm very well, thank you. How about yourself? So, we could take this laser over there. Doing something like this. And then we could do... Something like that. Doing all right. Good to hear, buddy. Good to hear. Now, the problem being... Let's think about this a moment. When I remove this from here, I lose both of the lasers. So... Okay. In that case... 
If I try and set up what I just did a moment ago, but I leave one of the cubes here. So, in effect, I can walk up there, so it doesn't matter about losing that portal. Alright, so let's put this one into there. And then we can, not that we're going to use it just at this moment, but we can set up the laser. I said we could set up the laser. So that's what we're going to do with the laser for now. Okay, so let's think about positions here. Now we can bootstrap this by having this other cube over here, which is why I wanted to bring it over here in the first place. So the laser's going to come through here. So we're going to need to point that to there. I think. So that points to there. This one points to here. Okay, so now if I go back, I should be able to bootstrap that laser, or at least, not necessarily the laser, sorry, but it should, well, let me start that sentence again. I should be able to bootstrap that panel and keep that panel facing down. Okay. So that's done that. And yes, okay. Excellent. Right. Let's make a save there. And then we'll head back. Now, this laser is obsolete. For now. What does this do for us? So that and star. That's done by wavy line. Ah, okay. So I think. Yo, Libby, what's going on? I'm very well, thank you. How are you about yourself? Good to see you as always. Okay, we'll put that there. Hopefully, bring this one back to there. Doing well, always good to hear. Okay, so that's... Wait, has that lifted that? Uh, how did you get it working? Because you install Windows 11 updated drivers, having games would work. Port 1, Mel, Aperture Tag, Reload, and Split Gate. Oh, well, for some reason, the main Port 2 game didn't work. It just said it was playing, but it didn't load, and then just quickly stopped, even though my data on my drivers. Uh, well, I haven't done anything weird, um, anything special, to be fair, crazy. Um, I literally just installed Windows 11, didn't even like update drivers or anything. I just installed the. Um, did you use the beta branch? Uh, which is like the newest branch of Windows 11. Um, but yeah, I used the beta branch and it's worked fine for me. So yeah, a little bit weird if it's uh, not working for you. Not quite sure what would be going on there. Okay, so from here, I could jump across to here. Um... Triangle. Where is triangle? Hmm, it's, uh, that's bizarre. But yeah, I haven't done, I seriously haven't done anything, I haven't done anything special, and uh, everything is working out of the box for me, so. Very peculiar. Okay, so this point here. I 
Okay, I need another cube back then. From here I need to get the other cube back. So, should be alright just to walk through here. And fizzle this. And then... Yeah, it's, um... It's a bit claustrophobic on the old connection side, I'll be honest. There's a lot of things going to a lot of places. Alright, so if we do... This... Mika, what's going on, buddy? What is going on? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you, as always. So now this is open, we can take the red cube. Put that over here. What a fail. Okay. Alright, so let's take stock of what we got here a moment. We've got... That's going to do that. Now I've got access to the button. The button lowers that, so that will enable... an infinity fling, I guess. Because I think, from what I remember last time, we're going to need to get a cube up into here so we can then pull it through to the next area. I think that's the idea. Um, just trying to think. We're going to have to... Yeah, almost infinity fling. So we need to hit that button, go get a cube... Place portals. Place the portals top and bottom. I mean, I can pre place the portals anyway. Uh, you're on the main portal, and it didn't come up, it just said stop on Steam. We went back to play quickly, so I didn't know what's. Well, that's about even though I'm doing my drivers. When I went back to Windows 10, the main portal worked fine again. I didn't know what that's about. Yeah, I mean, I've had no issues. Everything I've, like, tried so far has worked fine for me on Windows 11. Um, I didn't, like, the only thing I didn't do was I didn't re... I didn't, like, haven't downloaded all the games again. Because um, I had a... I've got, like, a separate drive that I store all my data and everything on, so... Um, all my games were on that drive. Uh, I copied all my games from my C to my F drive, and then I've set my F drive as like my Steam library folder. And then just as I've like started all my new games for the first time again, it's just done a re-verification of the files. Um, so maybe I don't know. Maybe that was all you was missing. Possibly. Maybe if you'd have done like a file verification from Steam, maybe that could have solved the issue. But um, yeah, it's it's weird. Especially if, like, some of the other Portal games worked as well. Like, um, if if Mel worked, then I don't understand why the main Portal 2 game wouldn't work. That is very, very bizarre. Oh, right. Well, then, um... That's slightly concerning, isn't it? Alright, so let's just take note here. Okay, so if I swap this cube here... It doesn't matter. I can use this cube to do the... Flinging? No, I'm going to need a second cube, aren't I? Hmm. <laughs> I 
hit that, but I need access to two cubes. So I could use this red cube here. However... Actually, it doesn't matter though, does it? No, scrap that. It doesn't matter. Because once I've hit the button... I can happily take this off here. Yeah, okay. Alright, so let's try this again. Yes, you now have the bronze badge. I should really update my badges, to be fair, because... Um, um, that's like my old logo and stuff. Okay, so we do that. Oh, yeah, hold on a minute. That's why we do that. So I can do that. Break that line of sight there. Do that. But now I've... Oh man. Okay. Where was... Circle? So, the one thing I was thinking before this was about respawning blue. Let's just think about what we need to do, though. Um... That's why I need to turn those collision off. I sometimes wonder myself why I put myself through it, to be fair, I see it. <laughs> uh, it's all good fun, though. It's all good fun. I'd be surprised if you didn't have a, the first badge available to you. Uh, crazy because I thought the first badge was for like the first 10 people who subbed to the channel I wouldn't be surprised if you was in like the first 10 um, you can change it if you go into your badge settings in the chat so I'd be very surprised if you didn't have it alright so is there another way we can respawn this So that button just does that. I can't remember where... Can't remember where circle... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, that's not going to be the right thing to do. Because I'm pretty sure circles... Yeah, circles in this room. So to get through to here and respawn that queue, we're going to have to do... A whole lot of stuff. Yes, that's the circles there. So we're not going to be respawning the cube. Okay, so that's... At least we know that's not the solution. And that's not what we're looking to do. This funnel is controlled by Dot. So, as long as we keep this panel open, so we take the green cube, possibly, then. Maybe no already, then. We've been playing a lot of Splitgate. I was, I was looking at that um, earlier on today, actually. Not sure what to make of it, but... Looks pretty cool. Oh, that's right. We can't do that because of that.
I wonder if we could go a little unorthodox here. Mika's being a good Samaritan. Look, we should all take we should all take example of Mika. Here we are, all all of us look playing games. Mika's doing his good deeds. Look. All right, we need to, I need to think about this. What are we gonna do here? Yo, Fumbly, what's going on? How we diddling? How, so how can we... We've got to keep those two active. So we've got to keep those two active. Um... I'm very well, thank you, Fumbly. Thank you for asking. So yeah, we've got to keep... We don't have to keep those two active, though, do we? No, we don't. We only have to keep... That one active. But we need to be able to do that before... Okay, alright, alright. So... I was to do that. Ah, hold on. Um, no, actually, no. This controls the funnel. How can I do this up here with one cube? The answer would be... The answer would be to point the... Try and find a place where after it's intersected... It's, uh, mm, hold on. Um... Yeah, so... What I'm trying to say is, I don't want to do it. Actually, let me set this up first. Okay. Um, so, instead of going this way around, we go the other way. So I take the laser, it points out of there, and then it comes out of here and aims over to there. that way by doing this we would free up the cube I think Mr. Fab what's going on welcome welcome hope you are well now the only issue is it's not going to go through there okay it'll, it'll still go through there that's fine I think this will work I have 
not very much confidence, but I think it will work. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. All right. So now we have that. This queue becomes free. And I now have two cubes over here to play with. Yeah, it has been a minute. Definitely since I've had a portal stream, that's for sure. It's been, I think it's like two weeks today since we last streamed portal. So I may do a portal, uh, a double portal stream, one tonight and one tomorrow, instead of um, going back to Evoland tomorrow. But uh, no, I'm very well. Thank you very much for asking. Hope you are well yourself. Okay, so then we have that on there brings up the button so what's going to happen now is we will press the button pick up this cube yeah all right press the button place portals pick up the cube get the cube into the funnel i think now, the only issue we may have now, the issue we are going to have is that the moment I move this portal, this cube here, um, that's going to close. Hmm. So that's an issue, but we need to activate that. to activate that to yeah all right so this is because yeah let me show you what's going to happen here uh i've finished the first one and we're about i think we're about a good five hours or so into the second so from here sorry let me hit that button again because i've just totally got distracted all right so we would do that and we would do that and you see that's now closed up Which is the issue. So I have no laser now to go through there. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work, is it? Unless I did... Yeah, it's not going to work. This is the problem we had before. Because that moves that panel. So how can we keep that panel open? It's good to have a distraction, Mika, definitely. And uh, especially being around like family and stuff. Probably sort of like the most understanding people towards you as well. Um, 
What's that pal down? Then... to still hit those two to keep that panel down. Unless now there is there is a way that I could do okay. So, we have the ability to do this, right? So what could we do different from here? Maybe we need to, like, reset what we had before. Whereby we had the two cubes at the top. Going the other direction. Thing, but no, we still wouldn't have enough cubes. We still wouldn't have enough cubes then to do um, what we need to do here. Which is fortunate. Crazy, thank you very much to the host, buddy. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. water there isn't there yeah so I can't like go through and do some weird stuff with angles of portals either Um, I'm not sure actually. I'm not sure my Streamlabs bot is set up to do that, if I'm honest. Going back to the. Um, there was nearly me in the drink. That's doing that, that's doing that. And then we should be here. Back to what we had before. But somehow that wasn't passing through there. Of course it wasn't. Ah! Big oof, indeed.
Uh, oh, man. I'm going to try to remove the red cube first. Alright, so we're back to this. That works a treat. Why? So I need that on there to do that. Alright, so why did I say I wanted that on there? I'm not sure why I said I wanted that now. Uh, money, what's going on? This is a uh, map by somebody called Oxy. Yeah, you see, that's the problem. It almost works, but not quite. This is why I kind of contemplated the two cube setup. got to do a I've got to do a portalless um, connection or portalless laser through this relay here by the red cube because I need both my portals to do the Potentially go for cheese. Oh, yeah. Uh, I should have been over there before I fired that pole. Let's say. I mean, this was a prime example if you was around about 20 minutes or so ago when I was, I couldn't remember what circle was, only to then find out circles like all the way through here and through a fizzler and like in a completely different room out of my shop. So, yeah, there's an example of why uh, signage is not good all the time. Okay. That's that and I'm dead. Fantastic. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez, gotta love it. You gotta love it. Uh, 
That's a move I like to call classic knock. Yeah, I'm not going to have enough time to pull this off. Or am I? Okay. Well, I didn't hear anything drop into the water. That's got to be a good sign, right? Okay. This gives me a boot on. Um. Okay. Okay. you ever get the impression hmm is there anything above the exit ah hold on Kind of see maybe a way through here. Uh, but no, there is nothing above the exit money. Okay, so what I want to do here, I think, is this, and then, oh, uh, I can't see over there. I could maybe get away with hmm. 
putting a portal in there because then that would have allowed me to walk through here and open up this area. I know, but it wouldn't say still. Also, where's that wavy line? Anybody seen like where the multiple wavy line thing is? Wavy line hunt. Must have missed it in that other room then. So that, Mika. Thanks for hanging, buddy. Have a nice sleep, man. I hope uh, things get a little bit better for you soon. So where? All right. Let's let's just go back a little bit. Alright, so cube was sent. Cube will stay. Doing this, I can now have all three cubes over here. Is that what it was, Fumbly? Ah, yeah, that's what it was. Fumbly got the eagle eyes. Man, um, hmm. Okay. I have uh, a hunch of how we might do some stuff. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the, all these, these cubes over here. And then... Head on over here. I don't know if I meant to get up there at all. Sure. Right, but if I put up all there and I head back, I can bring one or more cubes over here as well, can't I? Something convoluted like this. Request that you remove Tiny Island from Mr. Fab from your map playing cube because Mr. Fab doesn't want you to play it. Apparently, worst it's the worst one. All right. I'll uh, try to remember to remove that from the list. No worries. And uh, I'll catch you later. Oh. The hell? Oh! Crumbs.
crumbs. Yeah, of course. That's going to do that because of that. And I didn't save, did I? What a moron. What a moron. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to set these cubes up again. And to do that, we will put a portal on there. Walk back through here, jump across, put the other portal on the other side, and take the green cube through. And we will then point the green cube there, like so, and I will do that. I will also hit that for the time being. Uh -huh. now, we didn't contemplate. Really need to use a portal, I guess. Yeah, okay. So it's not going to work, is it? Because I'm going to need to use and get through to here. But I now need to get rid of that somehow. Do something like do that and then walk across.
Okay. We could also do something completely outrageous. No idea if this would work. That's why I'm going to try a little safe spot first. I'm confused. What happened? <laughs> what actually happened? Um... So, I get the fact that... I get the fact that the cube blocked... I heard something else move. Oh. Another button magically appears. Look at that. That angle looked like there. Are we nearly done? I think we might be. Hmm. No. So. Wait, what did. Um, sure. I did I need another cube? Uh-huh. Sure. Um. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think I see. I think I see what it's asking me to do. So I think, and I'm just going to try this just to make sure, I think end move is something like this, with that on there, or not.
Okay, that's placement help it. So I think that is the solution. Okay. Well. I thought that I would get a certain angle from that gel where I could, it would like land over here and then I'd be able to bounce. Hold on though. No, I think that probably is because what is... Yeah, no, that's doing that. So if I had that there, that there, Nope. Nope, still the same. Hmm. Alright, well. Now I learned. Fire away, money. Fire away. Can I get a connection between this room and the other room? Maybe if I was to do... to get a connection between that room and that room yes I can quite easily do that by go back through here and we would do that and that that would open the fizzler we can walk through here and now we have our connection like so What we don't have, though, is a portal where the gel button is on this. Uh, however... Thinking you could use the faith plate on the floor portal in the gel room, but you don't know how. Um, hmm. Alright, so if we have this, right, let's say we took a cube back through here with us a moment. which would give us this. We would have lost our portals because we would have had to shoot them there and there to get up there. OK. 
Okay. Then we can reshoot them here and here. Then get back through here while saving this. And now that I have that, I could do this. And... This was the move I wasn't sure about before. Just just go with it a minute, guys. Just go with it a minute. So we would do this, or we could do this at least. Now, does have a, having access to this here help us in any way, shape, or form? Not if we do things like that. I don't think. I wouldn't be able to do it anyway. I, I was thinking about using that to go through there, but. Um, I wouldn't be able to do that because there's no way of getting that back. So. I think all that's pretty much in vain. The fact that this gel goes into this portal does make me suspicious that I need to use it in some way, shape, or form. Um. Okay, we do this, we end up on this side, we use this again to walk through here, uh, we'd need one of those cubes though as well, wouldn't I? Right, would there be a way... Would there be a way... Uh, I can't remember what actually gets activated here by this button. It is everything. Mm. Fortunate. Um, if I had, though, a third cube in this room... I could activate this without using portals. All right, let me just let me just let's let's play a bit of let's pretend. It's been a while since we played a bit of let's pretend, but let's pretend. going the wrong way. So, oh, that's that. So yeah, in order for that to work, I would need to hit...
Hold on. Maybe that could work? That was there. Let's pretend... Which one will we not want? Maybe that one, but I don't see... That really... Helps me as such. Let's imagine that was like on the other side and we just had this set up here. So we walked through here. I think we would need the portal on the... So put on the other one. That was there. We could do like this. Okay. Then what will we do from here? Go on, Mike. How are you diddling? I get the impression that I would need to get up here. And then I would need to send a cube somehow using a forward funnel. No worries, Mike. Thanks for stopping by and saying hi, buddy. Appreciate it. Enjoy your sleep. From this position here, I would need to have... It's not quite enough cubes. <laughs> uh, isn't that the name of the map? Not enough cubes. Um, I would need a cube already in the funnel and then a way to reverse or change the polarity. Oh, sorry. I uh, Your colours confused me. It wasn't Mike that was going. It's uh, Mr. Fab. See you later, Mr. Fab. Enjoy your sleep. Thanks for stopping by and saying hi. You both have the same colour in, uh, in my chat here. Apologise, Mike. I would need to reverse that. The question is, how does one reverse that? One would reverse that by sending it through first. Yeah, okay, okay. So somehow we would have um, Paul here. We would also have we would have a cube in the funnel. But 
that would have to come through somewhere else so that we can hit that as well as... Oh my goodness. This is, uh, it's crazy. In effect, we'd set up something like this. And this would be in here. Okay. And then this should be open. Yep. And then, I think what we would do is, no! Oh, of course it's going to shut and that's why I had to... <sighs> So I need that. We need this, however, we need it so Ah, oh, this would mean that's got to be Do you kind of see, do you guys kind of see like the maneuver I was going for there? Like this this has to stay powered. That has to stay powered, but that doesn't. Oh. No, I I can't use the fourth cube at the minute because I've got a temporary cube while I'm just playing around here. So that's why the red cube's in the corner. So I need one cube in the funnel. I need one cube on the button. And then the remaining two cubes, I need to... I need to somehow power the funnel, but power the forward funnel via a portal so that when I change my portals and fling through, that will change the reverse funnel. I will hit the panel and land on that one up there and then be able to catch the cube, drop down and exit. Symbols. Right? Can I use the 500th cube? Um, no, that one's slightly out of reach, unfortunately, Atom. What's going on, buddy? Hope you're well. Welcome along. This one has to be powered all the time. That one needs to be powered via a portal.
I'll have to, uh, I'll have to reload because I don't know where I am with cubes and bits and pieces. interesting actually so that would effectively give me what I wanted set this up again but I need I need both cubes here um not a massive problem Set this up over here like this. That would go there. We'd come out here. through here I don't think we're a million miles away from the end of this one Atom I'll be honest my concern is, though, at the minute, is that doing all this is all well and good. But I'm not using... I'm not using the... Um... Using the blue gel. Just 
slightly alarming. Leo, what is going on, buddy? Welcome, welcome, hope you're well. Now, if this is correct... Uh, excuse the noises. Um, it's not correct, though, because... Oh, we'll just create a safe spot there. why it's not good I'm still slightly bamboozled as to what we use the blue gel for. Yes, orange funnel, I believe, needs to be on permanently. With the blue funnel activated. Blue funnel would only be activated... Um, via a portal so that when I change the portal the orange funnel would um, the orange funnel would stay on pull the cube back across and things and stuff should be gel there. That should totally should be gel there. Let me kind of demonstrate using like a stupid amount of cubes. Like what I think needs to happen. So, in effect, we'd have something like this, where orange is permanently on, 
and we'd have a cube in there, and we'd have a cube in there. Thank you. Then, using an other laser. have to be another laser so that would to me would say we need both of these here this would be like that so that I could then walk through here and then the idea would be I do this and grab the cube. Head to the exit. That's my thinking of how this solution will work. On to part two of the map. <laughs> the problem is, as the name of this map alludes to that is there's not enough cubes there is not enough cubes Or is it called just enough cubes? I can't remember. Thanks for the momentary break there. Is it just enough cubes or not enough cubes? I can't remember. Just enough. Alright, take it back. My mistake. But again, I stand by the fact that I stand by the fact that what knock what um, okay. So, there's never enough rocket turrets. Unless you're playing co-op, then there's always too many rocket turrets. Um, okay, so, here's the new idea. That has to stay there. I can remove this one. Now, the difference here this time is we can actually bring that out of here. Let's get all our cubes back. Then... Okay, that is now open. So we're going to do on here. We'll take another one. I have to shoot portal there and there to get back up here. To make sure, you know, we're not cheating. That would sit there. Am 
lined up. I think that will catch better. Okay, so then we're gonna do portal there, portal there, back through to this side. Now here, we will actually do, yep, do this. I can actually use this laser now from in here. So I can do this. And hop over to this side here. Okay. That has hand. That has. What sort of word? <laughs> what sort of talk is that? That has. Um, let's bootstrap that. We don't need that anymore. And we now should have permanent orange funnel. Yes. Okay. Um, the impression I maybe should have left the blue cube behind, though. Alright, anyway, let's not get bogged down by that a moment. Or that. You know, totally didn't just miss that at all. Okay. That does that for us. And then from here. That there. That there. That will now allow me to bring this cube into here. And then set this up again like that. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now we just have one minor little thing here. And that's the... That's the bit where we need to put this up here, right? But, but, but... But we don't need to do that, do we? No. All we actually need to do here instead, this time, is we just need to keep that panel open there. So we don't need this cube here. We don't need this one. Because we should be able to do this. Okay. So... Because we can do that, we can now do this. And because we can do this, we should also be able to do this, this, Okay. So, now that we have that, we now do need to take this back over here very carefully. Did I just save? I'm going to save again because I don't trust myself.
Now, from here... Place a portal there. Portal over here. This should be open. That should have travelled all the way across to there. And Huzzah! Whew. Okay, um, so I'm happy with that because we use the blue gel. The blue gel, I believe, the only purpose of the blue gel is to get up to that, that, uh, to press the button, like we just did there, which was the bit we was, uh, missing. So, the only other sketchy bit was, I guess, knocking the cube out of the way with the cube. I think that was the only other sketchy bit that, well... There was that, and then there was the whole way we got the cube up there in the initial instance. But I just, with only the couple of cubes we had, I'm not sure, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm done. We're done. Let's go on to the second part of the map. <laughs> oh, jeez, that would be the ultimate troll, wouldn't it? Um... Yeah, pretty good puzzle, I'll be honest. It's a pretty good puzzle. I would say, as a lot of you guys have also commented, um, possibly try and do some... maybe some better stuff with... Um, well, not better stuff. I don't know how like to put it, but like do some like, different stuff with signage. It's It's not easy to follow always where different bits of signage are leading to so yeah hmm. uh, anyway anyway let's let's move on to the next one now for the next one actually um we are not going to be on the, the workshop this is a independent download and um, all I've got on this one is it's a very short note. That's a very short map. If you get stuck, please describe what caused confusion if possible. Also want to hear your thoughts on the scenery. It's a map by Fenakai and it's, uh, it's called a short break. Now I'm pretty sure that's going to be interesting because I have, um, hmm. all right, I need to check. I might not have this. Ha, huh, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Because I've rebuilt my, well, not obviously, but I've rebuilt my PC. Uh, I've verified my files. Now I wonder if removed from my files. Let me take a look. Make the right place. That. Uh, is that the map? Is that the map? SPA2 No, I don't believe I have it. We 
please download the map. All right, just give me a quick second, guys. I'll get it downloaded and uh, we'll jump back right to it. So give me a sec and I'll be right back. All righty then. So uh, let's, uh, let's jump into it. That's all the information I got for this map. And uh, yeah, I think Fenikai was working on like some map packs or something. And I think this is from this. There was some like other information I had about this on an email, I think, way back when. Uh, but I don't believe I've got it anymore. So I think there's some assets used from various games and bits and pieces. And they just kind of wanted us to take a look at it and uh, see different bits and pieces. So, uh, all right, here we go. Let's have a look, see. We have some leaky pipes and some bits and pieces. Some weird lighting going on there as well. So, it seems a little bit weird. Uh, no, I didn't have technical difficulties loading the map. I had previously downloaded the map, um, Atom, but I've switched to a new PC and my game files got verified. So, because it was a BSP download, uh, I think the BSP had been removed from the game. So, uh, Yes. Okay, so there's a bit of an elevator there. Uh, some references as well in the description that uh, use some assets from both CSGO and from Infra. So, look, nice little blue sky. So, I'm just going to go here. I'll do that, but I assume I probably need to press that button over here first, right? Ah. So there is that, but how are we going to get any sort of, oh, okay, well I guess that's how we're going to get that. I Honestly, I didn't see that gap there, like the complete dum-dum that I am. Box, I guess it is. Okay. Are you, uh, are you feeling all right there, money? switch. Uh, that could 
be it. Oh. Okay, and there was a note to say that it uh, it broke. Um, okay, well, nice overgrown style. I like the kind of like outdoor area. It reminds me of, um, I don't know if it's a Jose Pez map or if it was somebody else, but there was like a good, um, Demagepi did that. Uh, money, No money for chambers as well. Uh, one and two, which are pretty nice, like outdoor themed maps. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it, was, it was good. It was good. Um, I wouldn't say it was you know, fantastic, but it was all right. It was good. And it looked okay. Didn't really see any glaring uh, issues with it, but uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway, on to the next, which is another one from Benakai. And this one is on the, this one is not on there. Let's try that again, shall we? Let's view in the workshop rather than browse workshop. This one is on the Shoulder Giants and uh, it's newest version. Oh, this is not the newest version. And there is a mod to this. Okay, maybe this is, maybe I'm getting confused. Uh huh. okay. Is this what I downloaded? Alright, well, I'm going to have to take a look at this. Um, probably not today. You wanna, sh sh should, we do a, should we do a workshop browsing stream? Let's do a browse the workshop stream. Oh, you know, that, that, that sounds... Yeah. Browse the workshop stream. What should we look for, guys? <laughs> Escape from Aperture? That sounds epic. Just look, look at the thumbnail. Look at that thumbnail. Who, do, who doesn't want to play that map right now? I won't blame you if you want to just, you know, abandon the stream and, and go play that. I'll, I'll, get, I'll get it. Aperture Sterile, episode four. Some funky looking uh, thumbnail right there, isn't it? It's episode four, yeah, it's episode two. Misha confused. Um, oh, who, who doesn't like a night at the opera, hey? Night at the opera. Look at all those turrets. I mean, we're not here for that. Um, all right, so we'll come back to On the Shoulders of Giants. I'll try to download that, and uh, I think I'll try and do a um, another... Um, I'll do another uh, port stream tomorrow night, I think, just to make up the fact that we've played that other one for such a long time. Uh, anyway, this next one is Quick Access Acceleration, and this is by Redicat, and uh, Fling Around at the Speed of Sound. Or a di moderately difficult test chamber using utilizing high energy pellets and momentum, slightly execution based, but nothing too tough. Yes, I'm aware that glass panes will, and wall columns clip through each other. There's nothing I can do to fix it. Your rating and comments are always appreciated and have fun. Alrighty then, squeaky chair. Really, like, Somebody remind me to get like the WD-40 out tomorrow and, oh hi Willy, and uh, spray my chair. It's gonna try and make it not so squeaky. All right, so something up there. So, we can do that, and we can do that, followed by the Let's try that again. Let's 
So should we start the map now? I think we should. <laughs> I bet my son's been on the uh, I bet my son's been on Paul again, messing around with my controls and everything. Groovy. Blame all on my son. It's all his fault. He's been playing Portal. Totally changed my key configuration and everything. Alright, now we should save this. We don't have to do that tricky step again. Uh, huh? Yes, that's. Okay, do this. I guess. Or at least we could if I could get in the right position. Alright, so we've got an absolute... Is that an absolute fizzler? I think so. That block everything, maybe. Oh, yikes. That doesn't last very long at all, does it? So, we got all this. Uh, okay, we have that there. Like the moves in this map. Well, to be honest, it did say, it did say about it being slightly execution based, but they say not too bad. Get like the knock. Get right big time. All right, Fumbly, calm down. We all make mistakes, jeez. <laughs> I feel I, I feel personally attacked. <laughs> all right, let's try this again. Oh, I got to do it before that hits up, though, haven't I? Hmm. Does that just stay on indefinitely? Okay, so I did that. What does that do? That opens the exit. Hmm. Hmm. Really? So hold on a minute. What what would be to stop me from doing? stop me from doing this right. Yeah, okay. So, okay. Oh wait, that's not the exit. That's just to get a cube. Hmm. Behind here is a cube. Oh, and a load more stuff to do as well. Okay.
so. issue there, I don't like that. I have done that to get to here. Maybe I need to keep the... Okay, do this. Like that. Then I can do this up to here. Need to maintain that, right? So that's not how you maintain that. Gotta jump off here, press the button, fire the portal on the ceiling, then refire it on the floor, and then try and land on here. Right? Easy. So easy, I failed. Everybody else reading this the same? Okay, so we do that. Okay. Checkpoint. Is that permanent or on a timer? I guess from this side it's permanent. Okay. Well, that's that's one thing, right? So, um So from here, I guess we're going to do this. Up to here. Oh, then we need a pellet. guess we're just going to do the same thing again here that we did the first time around, right? This time we need to keep a portal in here.
but no. That would have to go here. Yo, pick pick, what's going on? How you doing? Hope you're well. Okay. So then in here, we will get the pellet onto the side we need it. Then use the ceiling portal to get the momentum we need to get through to the other side. I think. So, this, we don't actually need this for a minute. Okay, move it to there. And then we want this. And I totally missed my cue. Assholes. Sorry. Sorry. You just mapping? Good to hear. Okay, and then I'm going to do... We shall not speak of that event. <laughs> My eyes, that event did not happen. Anybody who says that event happened is a liar, and shall be hung, drawn, and quartered. <laughs> uh no. No you may not. timing is rough. Oof. That timing is really rough. Because I didn't do the thing. No, um, it's the type of pellet that's on a timer, so it will just exist while it's got uh, an active connection here. The minute um, it loses the active connection, then the pellet dies. You normally see it connected to like, um, or sorry, not normally necessarily, but um, I often see it connected to uh, floor buttons. sake. It's 
bit of an interesting placement of portals right there. Dead, isn't it? It's dead. Son of a biscuit. Alright, so... That's the case. Then I can only assume I've got to follow the pellet or so that the pellet is already traveling through the portal. Ah. That's just going to be rough. three four okay uh, it's not gonna work because Don't think I can follow it through the portal though, because of the because of the maneuver I do here, whereby I'm doing this to go out of there. Wherever I am in relation to the pellet. So if I was to jump in here, if I was to jump in here before the pellet, that would be all well and good. I would literally need to be though right the pellet would need to be right behind me because if I hit the portal here and to refire the portal here if it hasn't already traveled through the portal by the time I do this then I come out here and I hit the pellet and I die So the other thing is I could, gives me probably a little bit more safety, is I follow the pellet in, like literally right behind it. And as soon as I'm through here, I refire there. That way the pellet runs to the ceiling, I run up to here, and then I can fire onto there. Maybe that's what I gotta do. I've gotta try and follow the pellet into the portal. I think following the portal, the pellet is better than it following me. I mean, either one would work. I just can't. It has to be in that two blocks, but two block high space. It has to be wherever I am. It has to be in there with me. Because if it bounces off and comes back towards me, I'm dead. There's there's nothing else I can do. All right, so we do this. Uh, I've lost the pellet. Ah. 
Ah. Uh. I still not got enough time. Because it's still bouncing up there at the same time. So it would be still getting destroyed here. Did what I was doing originally, but moved my floor portal to close to the lift. Yeah, that's a good point, Fumbly. That's a very good point, in fact. Something else I could potentially do, though, as well. Could I use that to my advantage? All right, let's let's try moving closer to here first. Up I, uh, yeah, that would have worked fumbly. Bang on. <sighs> Son of a biscuit. Why is the biscuit sad? It's not sad. It's just I'm talking about the biscuit's son. Yeah, but I would need still to be there, wouldn't I? So... That portal shot's got to come off before the other one.
Shoot blue. Shoot orange. Simples. Slow. <sighs> so how else can we speed things up? How else can we speed things up? The only way to speed things up that wait for it to go through the portal and then shoot the black to there because then it's going to have less time to bounce off the ceiling okay i think i need to better position this pole here put that there I'm literally going that out like that okay I guess it's being affected by the elevator, even though I have no words. Oh, fudge. My sarcasm sensors are going into overload their crayer money.
Yeah, you see, that's what I was talking about before, about, like... Catching... Okay. Next up. Finifling the cube. Up to the exit. How hard can that be? However, Thankfully, money. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so... This queue, we definitely need to, well I say definitely, we need to I feel like we need to infinifling it. an idea. Possibly not in finifling it. What if we did something like this up to here. then wait 
here long. Yeah, I waited too long. Because I was like panicking as to where I needed to put everything. But that's it, I think. I'll have to walk through there again. Because I'm lazy. Eh, eh, eh. Uh, excuse me? Excuse me. I do believe you owe me a black ball. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's like I hit it on a moving panel or something. It was really weird. Um, all right, we'll get up top here. Yeah, uh, very tight timings on that map, I feel. Um, which is a shame. Um, I feel like, like the, the timings, more than anything, are a lot of the difficulty. So, like, working out how to, like, speedily do stuff is, like, the challenge with that one. Uh, anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. We'll be back again tomorrow. Uh, I will do another portal stream tomorrow night. So uh, to make up for not being here on Saturday, I'd like to get, try and get uh, a couple in um, every fortnight. So, yeah, we'll do another portal stream tomorrow night. And then Friday night, we will head back over to Evo Land too. But, uh, yeah, thanks for hanging with me tonight, guys. Appreciate your support. As always, enjoy the rest of your evening, your day, whatever time of day it is, wherever you are. And as always, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Stay safe and happy gaming.